Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. One of the most requested videos for me to do is how to create hybrids or how to create crosses for peppers. So today I'm going to show you a very quick and easy way to do this. Many times I would do it during the summer when I have the plants grown outside, but in the winter time, I would do it inside in a controlled climate. And I find that doing it indoor in a controlled climate gives me better result. So I'm going to show you how to do that today. So if you have an arrow garden, uh, two is better, but one should work too because you can plant two plants in here and do that. Uh, but it'll take work to keep the plant small. Um, another way is to create your own hydroponic systems to, uh, to grow peppers. And I will show you one that I've done already. Okay, that is a mini system that I use to grow peppers. And you will be surprised that a system like that, that tiny, can actually grow peppers that produce fruits. And also you can cross using this, uh, this little tiny system as well. So again, you can do it in the arrow garden or you can do it in this. So today I'm going to show you how to do it in this small unit. So what you will need is a cover. This is a koozie for drinks and stuff like that. And uh, I saved this from a Christmas party and all that stuff. So if you have that, that's fine. If you don't have it, you can just tape the container. And you will need, of course, pepper seeds of two different varieties that are compatible. So I will list the compatibility chart for you to uh, look over. And if you go by that chart, it'll give you the best result because some varieties cannot cross uh, with each other. So um, go by that chart. That way it'll give you a good um, idea of what to expect. This is a water bottle that you're going to need to use. Something like an hourglass shape. And as you can see, I already cut it in advance to cut down on video time. So just cut it right under the label right here. And it should give you something like this. And then you will need a net cup there and a rock wool cube that would fit into the net cup. This net cup is two inch. The rock wool cube is one and a half by one and a half inch and it fits perfectly in there. So I'm going to list all of these products in the description below so you can know exactly what to get. And as you can see, it fits right into the water bottle. So that's how I, uh, I created this system. It's very easy. I made many videos on these systems. So if you guys want to follow the, uh, that in detail, I will link you to the video so you can check it out. Um, this one is just about crossing peppers. So I'm going to do it real quick. And then the koozie here will hold your bottle like that to, pr to prevent life from getting through into the bottle container. That way it doesn't have algae grown everywhere and uh, your plants will be fine. All right, to start seed is very simple. Uh, just take that rock wool cube here and just dunk it in water, nothing special. And then get it uh, wet completely. And that is it. So we're going to poke a few holes. There's one already poked pre-drilled in advance when you buy the cube. But I like to put a few more just in case. Okay, about three is fine. And then we're going to take our seed and put it in there. Okay, I'm going to use three seeds. And then just use this tool here to push it down. Just close it up gently. And then we'll do this. And then take a 
Ziploc bag. And that is all. So now, just place it under some light. See here? So that's where I'm going to put it under my arrow guard. And you, these are really fresh seeds from previous season. So it should take about 7 to 10 days to sprout. So do this for two varieties. So you're going to need two of these. That way you can cross each other. So make sure you select the variety that are compatible and uh, the varieties that you are intending to cross to so that they can share certain traits in your new hybrid. We'll come back once uh, the plants have grown a little bit and then uh, we'll go through the crossing process and I'll show you what to do next. All right guys, it has been 55 days now and my plants that are in the small hydroponic system are starting to fruit you see the flowers are open and uh, those will turn into a fruit pretty soon and here are some right there and then um, I think there's a few on this plant but there's a ton of flowers on a tiny little plant alright guys to collect pollen uh, it's a very simple process. You can use any containers you have. Uh, I bought these little ones here off of Amazon. I don't know what they're stored for, but they're excellent for storing pollen to use uh, within a day or two. So uh, it has a little cap here that you, you can secure it. So what I normally do is I'll go to the flowers that I need pollen from. Then I'll just place this little thing under here like this. And then you tap, tap the flowers, and then pollen will fall into the bag. It's very easy to collect. You see, there's um, a little pot. There's a bunch of pollen. Wow, that, that flower has a lot of pollen. So uh, these white little speckles here look like dust. Those are your pollen. So that's uh, that's how easy it is to collect them. Now you just need to use this to pollinate a different variety to make your cross. Alright guys, so the process for this is pretty simple. You want to find a flower that has not opened yet, like these here. See that one there? It's kind of ready, but it, it hasn't been opened. And that is the flowers you need to, uh, to do this with. Uh, flowers that are like that there has opened, so the pollen uh, probably already pollinated uh, the stigma so using that would not work because it's already pollinated itself all right guys to cross pollinate what we're gonna need to do is remove the outer layer of the flower there to expose the stigma and then we're gonna remove every other parts of that flower leave only the stigma left and then we're gonna take pollen and put it on there so Let's go through this real quick and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, and if you can see that little stigma there, that should be the only thing that remain on the flower because that's the pollinating part right there. So uh, you have to do it very carefully because sometimes those things can be very fragile and they'll just fall off. So um, now what we need to do is take pollen from another flower or if you have pollen saved like I did, then we'll We'll use that from here. So let me remove this real quick. It's a little bit difficult to see, but I have pollen on the tip of this uh, zip tie. And 
there you go and you just gently rub it onto the stigma and you're all set so let's label the uh, the bag and then we're gonna close this up to to protect it so what I normally use is a ziplock bag like this And there you have it. That's how you cross-pollinate pepper plants. All right, guys. So that is basically what I do to cross-pollinate peppers and create a new hybrid. And here are some other ones that I've been working on. And as you can see, uh, small systems like these can grow plants just fine, even peppers. Uh, they're great for um, vegetables and stuff like that. So try it out. And then if you have an air garden, you can do that as well. So Here's a bunch of other stuff that I'm working on. Uh, it's a very fun project to do during winter time, so um, I highly suggest you try it out and try some crossing projects. You know, sometimes you may create something that that would be really nice, and it is your own. So um, uh, make sure you always label and uh, uh, keep keep up with the stuff. Uh, write everything down so that you don't forget what you've done. Alright guys, so that is pretty much it. That is usually how I uh, create most of my hybrids uh, indoors. And uh, in hydroponic, plants grow much faster so you can um, do a bunch and uh, also speed up your generations of your crosses and stuff like that. And also because these containers are very small, uh, the plants will also fruit faster. So. Um, that's it guys thank you for watching i hope that this video will uh, um, help you with your project and uh, good luck with creating something new that is your own thank you for watching please like comment and subscribe